What's up, you guys? Jedi Master Josh here, and one, one second. Evie, wake up. We're filming. Come on. What do I even pay you for? All right, you guys. Today, we're opening a Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box, and we're searching for Trainer Gallery cards. Now, there are a few Trainer Galleries from Silver Tempest that I have not gotten yet, and they'd be the Breaksin cards, uh, the one with uh, the trainer in the artwork. I always forget the trainer that's in that artwork, but you guys will definitely let me know in the comments, right? Let's go ahead and dig into this Elite Trainer Box. Now, something that I wanted to talk about is Silver Tempest is more like the end of the era here for Sword and Shield. Now, Crown Zenith is obviously out. You can purchase Crown Zenith. It's supposed to be the last set of Sword and Shield. It does introduce a couple of mechanically new cards like uh, Regigigas and Regigigas V-Star, the V and V-Star, excuse me. We also get things like... Zamazenta V-Star and Zacian V-Star, which are mechanically new cards. Hatterini V-Max, which is a mechanically new card. There's a, there's a few new cards in Crown Zenith, but for the most part, it's basically just a giant reprint set. And on top of it, Crown Zenith doesn't actually have... There's that Lugia. We need to pull a couple of those today. But Crown Zenith actually doesn't have a trainer gallery set. It has something different. It's called the Galarian Gallery. Take a look at these alt arts real quick. You got Lugia, Reggie Drago, Skunk Take, and Unknown, my favorite card from Silver Tempest. Let me know what your favorite card is from Silver Tempest. But as we dig into the trainer gallery here, Crown Zenith does not have a trainer gallery. They have something called the Galarian Gallery. So technically speaking, Silver Tempest would be the end of an era because it is the last set to include a trainer gallery. I have a feeling that as things go on in the future and you know new sets are released and these sets get older these sets will be probably some of the most sought after sets from the sword and shield era i mean crown zenith will obviously be one of the top dogs as well but you have to think about crown zenith for what it is it's a special set they're not expecting everybody to go and purchase a million elite trainer boxes of crown zenith that's why when you buy an elite trainer box of crown zenith you get so many awesome hits from it but we're going to dig into Silver Tempest today. We're going to put Crown Zenith on the back burner. I have tons more Crown Zenith openings coming up. If you guys haven't seen any of my Crown Zenith openings, I would definitely, definitely recommend checking those out. We definitely pulled a bunch of awesome cards, and we get to talk about all the new cards and stuff like that as well. But today, we're strictly hunting trainer galleries from Silver Tempest. Wish some luck, and in the comments down below... Let me know what your favorite trainer gallery is from Silver Tempest. Actually, just let me know what your favorite trainer gallery is in general. I think my favorite trainer gallery card has got to be the Pikachu VMAX with red in the artwork from Lost Origin. I think Lost Origin is an extremely underrated set. But let's say a fire energy to start us off. Oh, check that out. We get the first guess the energy. That's awesome. We get Matang, Anorith. Now we're hunting for trainer galleries. So let's hope we can get one today. Uh, at least one. We're gonna we're gonna hope for at least one. There's a Ralt, so we're not going to get a trainer gallery in this pack. But we do get a Mawile V. Shout out to Rattle Pokemon there. Mawile being his favorite Pokemon, I would think. I, it seems that way. Let's go ahead and throw that up into the pull pool there. If you guys haven't checked out the Rattle Discord, make sure you check that out as well. Join in. We just hit 2,000 members. Well, he just hit 2,000 members, but. Let's move into our next pack here. We got Lugia on the pack art, Silver Tempest. Maybe we can pull a Lugia out of Lugia. Now, that's something that I've never had happen to me. Let me know in the comments if you guys have had that happen where you pulled a Pokemon that was on the pack art out of the pack. And I mean, like, in the ultra rare hit. Let's say a Psychic Energy. Oh, my gosh. We guessed two energies in a row. What is going on here? Are we going to get super lucky in this box? I hope so. We've got Sandy Gas. I love Sandy Gas. Such a cool Pokemon. We've got Rufflet. We have Chimeco. So, no Trainer Gallery. But behind it, we have an Arcanine. Now, look at that artwork. It might not be holographic. It might not be an ultra rare. But look at our boy Arcanine there. Looking Fierce. All right, let's go ahead and dig into our next pack. We have Alolan Vulpix, the ice version of the fire Pokemon we remember from 27 years ago almost now. Isn't that crazy? Here in the end of February, when Pokemon Day rolls around, we'll be 27 years into the Pokemon games and anime and everything. You know, Pokemon will be 27 years old. And Ash Ketchum has only been a champion once. But let's go ahead and see what we can get here. We got a Leaf Energy. And we get a Metal. Okay, we, we, you know what? We had two in a row. We can't get them all, right? We've got ourselves a Petalil. Clink. 
Litten, so cute. We've got Murkrow, Swablu, V-Guard Energy. Now that's a useful energy there. What do we have behind it? We have the Reggie Ilecki V-Max. Now, when this set came out, I was actually convinced that Reggie Ilecki might be the last V-Max. But it wasn't until just a little bit after this set, I think, came out that we started seeing like the Deoxys V-Max, and then the Zeraora V-Max, and then now with Crown Zenith, we know we have Hatterini V-Max. So Hatterini V-Max is the last V-Max, and there's no arguing that anymore. No more V-Maxes after, after Hatterini, at least that's what I think. You never know. They could release another collection box just out of nowhere and say, you know what, this V-Card never got a V-Max or a V-Star, so here's another battle box with both the VMAX and the V-Star. Let me know what you guys get from those code cards. Let's see what we can get here in this next one. How about a lightning energy? We get a water energy. Okay, lightning and water, they don't they don't mix. So we're gonna we're gonna just pass over that pretty Ooh, we got Metang and then Beldum, a little de-evolution there. We got Zubat, Elgium, the reverse is a Noivern. Can't be too mad about a dragon Pokemon. But what's behind it? A Noivern. <laughs> perfect. That's a perfect pack right there. You get the reverse and the rare. Fills out, the fills out the binder faster that way, right? <laughs> okay, we're not going to complain about that. We've got ourselves Reggie Drago on this next pack art. Eevee is still sleeping in the background. I, I, I don't know why I, I brought Eevee in. It just spends all of his time sleeping back there. We're doing an opening, you know, guy. Come on. Can't you just put in at least a little bit of a little bit of effort okay there's a code card for you guys let me know what you get we get ourselves a v-star marker so a little pass on the guess the energy right now but we've got dragon air toxic crow can we guess maybe one more energy in this opening that would be insane i don't know what my record is for energy guesses but oh there we go we got the breaks in trainer gallery now this is not the one that i'm looking for i'm pretty sure there's the a v max one i'll have to look through the set list again but there should be a VMAX one, and that's the one that we're looking for. But this is an amazing card. Can we get something behind it? We have a holographic Metacham. Not too bad. It's still considered a hit, right, when you get a holographic rare? I mean, it's not everyone's favorite hit, but still a hit. We got ourselves a trainer gallery to put in the pool pool. We have three packs left. Wish us some luck on these packs, you guys. Like I said... Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite trainer gallery from Silver Tempest? What's your favorite card from Silver Tempest? What's your favorite card in general? What's your favorite trainer card, trainer gallery card in general? Anything Pokemon related. Just let me know down in the comments below. We'll have a little conversation about it. I love chatting with you guys. So let's go ahead and move those to the front. Say, how about a dark energy? And we got another guess the energy. This is actually, we've gotten so lucky with the guess the energies. I'm going to guess fighting next because fighting always wants to troll me like towards the end of the videos, and we're going to preemptively strike on the fighting energy today. We've got Spinarak, a reverse Don fan. I can't wait to see the new Scarlet and Violet, Great Tusk, and Iron Treads cards. But behind it, we have a Frostlass. Shout out to Nokimon there. That's Nokimon's favorite Pokemon, if you guys didn't know. We've got ourselves our next pack here, Alolan Volpix. Come on, wish us some luck. This is the second to last pack the penultimate pack of the opening. Just trying to do a little fun opening today. Nothing crazy, nothing too serious, but we are really trying to get those trainer gallery cards, so hopefully we can get at least one more in today's opening. Let's see, what we were. We said we were going to say fighting energy. Leaf energy, okay. Shout out on listed leaf there. We should have known better. We've got Raichu, Toracat, Palosand, Ralts, Pikachu, Noibat, come on, what do we got behind this? Hopefully, nope, we get a Phoebus. No trainer gallery from that pack, but we have one more chance. But is Phoebus hiding something good? An Amoongus, we have a Fungus, Amoongus. All right, get rid of that. Get that out of here. Move on to the next pack. That last pack had an imposter, right? There was an imposter in that pack. Okay, Reggie Lucky, wish us some luck on this last pack. Hopefully we get some last pack magic here. I'm just, like I said, I'm hunting trainer galleries. So we're looking for a trainer gallery. If there's a trainer gallery in this pack, that's a win for me. Let's do one, two, three, and four. I'm going to say fighting again because I, I really think it's coming for me. No, it's lightning. Okay. You know what? I deserve it. We deserve it. Let's go ahead. And, we got three guess the energies today, though, you guys. That was pretty awesome. Let me know if you guessed any of the, any of the energies while we were going along. We have no trainer gallery. But thank you guys for checking out this video. We're going to end on... A Hisuian Braviary. That's not too bad to get a Hisuian form of an old Pokemon. But let me know what you guys got from Silver Tempest. What's your favorite cards from Silver Tempest? Your favorite cards in general? Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.